That's Brittany from the Goddess Complex LLC. Welcome to today's video. Today is September 5th, 2024. It's currently 7 14 p.m. This is our Mystic Love Oracle reading. And like I said, I'm going to go into our reading wholeheartedly. Make sure you are doing the work and getting ready for the super moon. The super moon. If you have not gone into your twin flame union, if you have not gone into your into your um soul tribe just yet with your twin flame union you're going to uh be in the next group which is stated to be between now and november by november 30th you're going to be in a better place so first card out is going to be a romance you have uh romantic feelings and like i said Make sure you, you're attending the right outing, especially between now and Halloween. Someone someone may meet their twin flame on Halloween. Be very careful of masquerades and all that type of stuff. And be conscious of people setting up parties just to hook, hook someone up with your twin flame soulmate. That happens sometimes, and it starts another cycle. Also, someone's going to be happy, especially going out to... Going out to the parties. Somebody didn't like that response. <laughs> Somebody's going to be inviting someone to a party. They know who your twin flame is. They know who your twin flame is. And they're going to, uh, they're going to be, uh, they're, they're going to be trying to hook people up to keep people from being in twin flame union. I think it's funny. It happens at every party. It, they showed in the episode of Martin, in the episode of, um, I think, is it Living Single, Martin, or Living Single, something. And there's a show, TV show from the 90s. There's a party scene where two people fall in love with each other or accidentally hook up with each other, and they end up being, they end up being twin friends. I'm, I'm, I'm right about something. I, I predicted something as a little girl. <laughs> and I, I, it, it, it's in. It, there's proof. I'm gonna watch this episode during Christmas, Christmas break. And God said that's a note for me during Christmas break. There's new love coming in. Like I said, somebody has romantic feelings. So you're in the move of love. I feel like you're attracting love at a very high rate and speed. I feel like you're, um, you still have to do protection on your love life. And I hate to say this. I know you don't normally do that. And most people don't typically do that. You have to put your protection up and then protect on you attracting love. I hate to say that. Be calm, conscious of musical chairs. Musical chairs of the heart. I think that's what I'm going to name this reading. Um, signs, signs. Love. There's going. You're going to meet. You're going to meet somebody at a party. <laughs> and this, if you know you've been ripping around the streets, slutting, whoring, and being crooked and being a criminal, you cannot be a criminal in love. You're going to break somebody's heart. You're going to break somebody's heart. Because, and then also be cautious of these people trying to over overlap readings and stuff like that. Um, you may hear my voice change just a little bit because I have congestion just a little bit, which I don't normally have. Um, more about that in our gang stalking video. So we, I have to do an update. Also, um, friends... Your friend, be get go around your real friends that's divine that want to hook you up with somebody that's divine. Somebody friend is getting ready to make them very happy because, um, especially in in my life, especially with my cousins, I already got God to 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 protect the women and men. He's going to propose to this young lady within a week to a year. They're not an ex-lover. 
But this message is for somebody. You're getting ready to marry somebody completely new because the divine heavens are intervening in your love life. They're they're intervening in your love life because these people cannot. They cannot stand people having friends. They cannot stand people being in love with their twin flame soulmate in their divine union, which leads to the divine sacred marriage which is what people pray for so if you've been praying for it keep praying and i know they're trying to stop prayers and stuff but be honest with yourself be honest with your friend tell them you know what i want a husband it took me a minute to admit to my sister that i want to maybe date or get married it's like i ah, one day i'm gonna get married you know have kids you know we were young and we were like teenagers one day i'm gonna get married and have kids and because I never talk about it. And the only certain family members and friends are the ones I talk about, like what my husband's going to be like and things of that nature. So you, you're manifesting your husband or your wife, even through conversation with your with your friends. And uh, that's, that's, just, that's just one thing. Um, and I didn't mean to even go there. I don't normally tell that story. But uh, just be honest. Tell the truth. Oh no! Forget those people. Don't say that. Act as if you're you. Hey, I can't wait till I meet my husband, or I can't wait until I meet my you know soul tribe. If you if you already have your husband, competition. There may be competition somewhere, but not here. Somebody you're marrying somebody completely new. Whoever this message is for you, you're marrying somebody new. Somebody is trying. Somebody is trying to. Uh, somebody is really trying it in the love department. This person is going to give you peace. It, this person is going to give you peace. Just be cautious of people trying to hook you up with people just to keep you from. Especially trying to hook you back up with an ex or somebody you try to date and it does not work. Some of you guys need to be very careful. They're gonna hook they know you have a twin flame. They know when your husband or wife is on the way or your twin flame so many. They know that they, they know. They know. People are like, no. They don't know what their feeling is. Sometimes some people just I'm gonna hook them up with my friend for some reason. Some people crooked. They'll get the urge, like, oh, let me put this person with this person. Because they don't like love and stuff. They don't like love. Whoever whoever, whoever this is, you just got to make sure no one blocks your love life and your, your soul tribe. Competition, the other woman, there may be a, a female, there may be a female figure. Uh-huh. <sighs> There may be a female figure. There may be a female figure. The other woman competition. That wants to interrupt your peace, maybe cause stress and anxiety to uh, get you to kind of like, you know how you, how you just kind of push everything away. Like, you know what? I, I, I don't feel, I'm, I'm too stressed out to even deal with this. They want to stress you all out so you can't manifest. And also... And that comes up in readings all the time about that part. They don't want they don't want you to have peace. Some of you guys may need to tap into the the, the water earth, water element or maybe um, water and earth. Water and earth. Somebody needs to tap into the water water and earth element. Mm -hmm. Man, so it's some people in trouble. There's some people in trouble. They're in trouble. That's all right, but I'm not in trouble. And be cautious of people still doing the, the womb spells, the yoni spells. Someone wants to steal the yoni energy. They want to steal the yoni energy, the sacrum and the root, which is well, really the sacrum. They want to steal the sacrum energy to put it somewhere like it's gold 
to keep people from having like to keep women you know with healthy yonis to keep them from having these magical babies they're set to die so you guys can go into your twin flame i hate to be that harsh and rude but people will go that far they'll go that far <laughs> people will change your voice during the reading Also, um, healing and releasing. Just be honest with yourself. Even if you're not ready and you're you're still in your soul tribe, soul tribe mode, your twin flame soulmate is coming in regardless. And that person may actually be like a friend to you or in your friend group. And to the selfish people who are trying to keep me from my husband, you have lost your mind. You lost your mind and you better let Virgo enjoy her day, their day, their days. I got so many Virgos in my family. Virgos. Yeah, Virgos. Everywhere. And um, definitely the air element, air and water, air, water, or air and earth. Those may be the signs that need to really check in. And if someone's doing spell by the elements, they're no longer they're no longer living. But the work was they did extensive work. Some of you guys beware of the hookup, and this may be on both ends of the divine feminine, divine masculine. They need to. Uh, home and foundation someone be careful inviting people into your home and people lingering trying to knock boots that's all i'm saying ah, ah, whatever that could you just back up on whoever this is back up it's, it's abrasive energy i don't like you whoever it is, i don't like i don't like i don't like social media keeping tabs also creating peace in the home keeping your house clean uncrossing <sighs> don't ever do that ever again <sighs> and just like i said be cautious of people reaching out online, especially when they know your home is protected. Also, don't forget to do your protection. Uh, Anti-thief, anti-breaking, things of that nature. Also, be careful. No one is trying, try not to do the hookup. You know how somebody like messing around with somebody else, then you run into your twin flame. There's a no sex ordinance from heaven. No sex. Don't have sex with anyone because someone is HIV positive and someone has a false hiv positive diagnosis <clears throat> oh excuse me i don't know what that was um all right now back to our reading be cautious of, of random hookup there's a no sex order ordinance no sex rule just wait till you meet the one trust me just trust me on somebody and so many people want the last hurrah they're following you online. Be conscious somebody stalking you at your home. Be conscious of that. Let's see here. We have divine timing again. Um, believe in timing. Just trust me. Also, someone's manifesting a lot of peace in their life. And with that, you may be manifesting a new home as well. Especially to the divine feminines, your mask is coming off. People can see straight through you. They they know you're a divine ma divine feminine. They know they can see straight through whatever this illusion is. Someone knows you're the divine feminine. There, don't worry about uh, don't worry about other people. And you think think this person's gonna be sleeping around? 
um, and all this time, other different things of that nature. They're not. Contrary to belief, a lot of women and men actually are not engaging in high frequency of sex unless they're about their thought life, unless they're hypersexual and have an overactive sacrum. At this time, a lot of the elders and ancestors restricted the, the karmic or toxic masculine, toxic feminine or karmic feminine from um, a lot of um, a lot of known sexual uh, rendezvous, is it like that? Uh, some of you guys, <sighs> I noticed that someone's interfering with this reading. My voice is changing, and I don't like it. I don't like it because I found sound like a fake news anchor. I don't like that. So I'm going to do my best to make sure you can, you hear my voice. Whatever they have right here, you can, it's changing. If it's what I think, it's changing my voice. Now, my voice is going back now. I have a beautiful voice. I refuse to be silent or put to silence. Family. Some of, you, some of them are uh, resolving a lot of family issues at this time in the spiritual course or even in the physical course especially with the grave a lot of people if these people do not if you're not allowed peace there's a divine intervention to come in maybe one of your friends some somebody of that nature is going to come in to help give you peace also grave no second chances hmm. Faded meeting and unblocking. Somebody, some. I hate, I hate to say it. I hate to say, it. far as the the twin flame part, soulmate part, you're going to do just fine. Go out to a. There's a certain faded meeting that's going to help you unblock everything. That is a cute dress. I, I like stuff like that. There's a faded meeting. You're going to find out that there may be uh, some issues. Like maybe someone divorced. Maybe someone lost a spouse. Something of that nature. Also, <sighs> you better chin check your, mu check your muscle. Chin check your muscle. All obstacles are unblocked. Like I said, there's no competition. You may be grieving at this time and need to be around your friends and family or your divine feminine or divine masculine has to be around their family at this time. Also, there's no second chances in a certain thing, especially if they got divorced. You're going to end up meeting them single at a party. It's unblocked. Reconciliation. Reconciliation. Also, reconciliation is here. Like I said, if they're going through a divorce and everything, once this is over, and maybe they're going through uh, losing a spouse, parent, guardian, or friend or family member, or, or whatever this was blocking them, this is what was blocking them. Maybe they, they went through a, a sense of grief. Uh -huh. Reconciliation and intimacy, you guys. I, I, they, you have a fated meeting. Go out. Go out in between now and uh, now, and believe it or not, now in December, even though you're going to meet this person through friends and then go out between now and December. So it's September 5th, so between now and December. The thing is fears. Your biggest fear is what was stopping you. Like I said, somebody needs a lot of peace and comfort, safety, and a lot of security. You need security. So whatever what your blockage was, this person's going to fully commit to you. Between the line, look what look what's hidden. There's something hidden when you first meet this person. And I'm, I'm trying to let it freestyle. That's why I stir off. Like I said, courage in the reverse. Strength, strength and courage, and spiritual awakening. So, uh, some of you guys are still going through that process. Some of you guys are still going through that process. 
sermon turmoil. Someone's not gonna like you going into your twin flame union, but it's none of their business. And like I said, don't don't be afraid to share it with your friends and direct family only when you're in love. You are feeling the love, therefore you become love of all. You become love. That means you be, you're lovable. If you don't feel the love and stuff like that, insecurity. Like I said, the biggest thing. I feel like somebody else is gonna be insecure. Someone's gonna keep a secret. Somebody's gonna keep a secret, and it's because you, you grew. You grew. The others did not. You grew. <laughs> You're going to get a call from someone. Do not answer the phone unless it's your mother and father who are very divine. Do not answer the phone unless it's your friends and family who are divine. Do not answer the phone unless you know it is your twin flame soulmate finna ask you out on a date. Do not answer the phone unless it's work related and professional. If it's not professional conversation, do not answer the phone. People are up to some weird whatever it is. They're going to do the missing you crap. Unless it's your family, family, your divine family and friends, do not pick up the phone. Do not pick up the phone and start listening to other people's problems and, and wonder what broke you. Don't. They're going to do I think we should hang out. We need to talk and sort some stuff out. I just feel like, no, that's them. That's them. That's a sign. When they start doing that stuff, you're about to get married and you're about to do that stuff. And and you're about to do, like, work for God and stuff, like, which you do anyway, like, I, I just, it's like they want your love energy, your love chakra, heart chakra. People confuse it with the sacral chakra, but it's not. Do not fall for the for the hey big head. Think. What your twin flame soulmate is missing you, your divine feminine, divine masculine. Like I said, there's a lot of messages, unsent messages. Just be cautious of any old boyfriend or whatever. Now what it looks like, you're going to see through the illusion. You you have to keep a stance and, and filter as people are talking to you. And don't accept the, the negative energy. Energy. So watch your back. Be, you know, sometimes your ex from a while ago could be your twin flame soulmate you'll know which one's the one and want to work it out don't confuse that with allowing your ex your toxic ex-girlfriend or toxic ex-boyfriend back that that manipulated you cheated on you did all this bad stuff like you'll know when it's the twin flame soulmate watching your back You're going to make compromises. Watch your back. You're going to make changes. You're not going to accept anything, anyone that does not serve the high good. Dating, meeting someone new. Like I said, this person that's coming in is going to change and transition your life. You're changing. Somebody's going to see that. They're not, they're not going to like it. And then you get ready to travel and move forward. And... Unfortunately, like I said, this is the part of the twin flame journey where you have to let go of people. Like I said, to keep from breaking your heart, heartbreak and shattering in the reverse, to keep from pouring yourself out and to keep from breaking your heart. People will break you and just go run off with their twin flame soulmate. Also, this person is probably a secret admirer as well. Just be, you'll know, you like I said, you'll know it's them because you're going to have passion and attraction, you have passion and attraction, passion and attraction, 
and then intuition, inner wisdom, and knowing. Um, also, breakup endings. If this person, if this person, now this is like a double reading. This may be for two different couples or two different groups. And you have heartbreak forever, hurt and agonizing. If this person breaks up with someone, they were grieving a loss. It ain't me, but you know. Hurt and agonizing pain break up forever. This person is breaking up, or you you may be ending things, maybe a divorce or something of that nature. You're gonna end up meeting your twin flame soulmate or your your, your soulmate, divine soulmate, for your for your next union. Does that make sense? For your actual like twin flame sacred union. Uh it says grass is greener on, on the other uh, what was it grass is grass is greener possibilities. There's possibilities with this new person versus the person that's leaving. Like I said, be conscious of one hook hookups and one night stands. It's gonna be an in and out thing, and you actually you're gonna slightly delay, slightly delay your twin flame soulmate union. Don't take that risk. You're gonna hear music and it's gonna inspire you. You know, you're gonna hear music, it's gonna inspire you. Unfinished business, uh, unresolved situation. Like I said, you need some peace in your life. You need to play some music, dance, go dancing, go go to a party, have fun. Let these people lose their mind. You 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 can't control. You can't control anything about someone else other than if they try to if they try to kill you, you know you put your foot in their butt. You put you put your foot in their butts. You put your foot in their butts. That's going to end today's reading. This has been our Mystic Love Oracle reading. Mystic Love Oracle reading. And I'm so sorry for those who cannot go into a union. You did not do the work. You must do the time. If you're still able to go divine, God will put you in union at a random time once the work is completed. You cannot interfere with someone else's work. And these people, the days of them tearing down the divine feminine, divine masculine union and process of the union is over. The soul tribe, we're going to do our soul tribe reading as well. That's why I normally include it, include it in the actual uh, reading. So I thank you guys. Make sure you check out the description box below. Please book your reading. I'm going to have a special for Halloween. I'm going to have a special uh, for October 2024 from October 1st to November 2nd or 3rd. I'm going to have a special on tarot readings. Thank you. It's been Brittany from the Goddess Complex LLC. I'll see you guys in the next video.